This is the second of two videos on installing OpCenter Protector Adapter for VMware Site Recovery Manager, or SRM, presented by the Itachi Ventera Center of Excellence. In video one, you created the Itachi block node and set up the replication policy and data flow for SRM within OpCenter Protector. In this video, we will install the Storage Replication Adapter, or SRA, and configure it into SRM. And finally, test your recovery plan. This video is divided into five parts. Upload the SRA adapter to SRM, add the array pairs to SRM, configure protection groups in SRM, test the recovery plan, and run the cleanup. In vCenter, install the storage replication adapter or SRA for protector into SRM. Navigate to menu and site recovery. In site recovery, click configure to configure the SRM. Enter the login credentials and click login. Select storage replication adapter and then click new adapter. Select upload. Navigate to the SRA file. Select it and click open or double click it. After a few moments, the SRA will be successfully uploaded. Click close. Verify that the SRA was installed by viewing its details. Then navigate back to vCenter. Back in vSphere client, click open site recovery. To log into SRM, click view details. Verify that the SRA was properly uploaded by clicking Storage Replication Adapters. Add the storage system pairs to Site Recovery. Select Add. Select the storage replication adapter and click Next. Enter a name for the local storage system manager. Enter the IP address and optionally the port number needed to communicate with OpCenter Protector. Generally, the port 20964 is required. Enter L for the local storage system and then enter the credentials that SRM will use to communicate with Protector. Click Next. Enter a name for the remote storage system manager. Enter the same information as in the previous step, except this time specify R for the remote storage system. Then click Next. Verify the details of the local and remote storage system manager and click Next. Review the configuration and click Finish. The storage system pair is created. Select the storage system pair and see what if any volumes were found for SRM replication. Here we can see one discovered volume, which is the volume we identified in the previous video. Create a protection group to protect the virtual machine and the data store we saw at the beginning of the last video. Select the Protection Groups tab. Click New. Name the protection group and click Next. Select Data Store Groups, Array-Based Replication, and click Next. Select the data store that you want to protect. After you select it, the active VM is listed. Click Next. Create a new recovery plan to support this protection group. Select Add to New Current Recovery Plan and name the plan. Then click Next. Review the selected setting and click Finish. The protection group has been created. Test the recovery plan by selecting Recovery Plans. Click the name of the plan. Click Test. Confirm the test and click Next. Review your selected settings and click Finish. The test of the plan is now in progress. Select Recovery Steps to watch the progress of the operations. The storage is being synchronized. To show that this is activating operations in OpCenter Protector, 
switch to Protector to see the data flow under the monitoring section. The replication is being resynced across the two storage systems for both the HUR replication and the snapshot being refreshed. Switching back to SRM, see that it is continuing with its operations. Switch back to Protector. The remote snapshot has been paused, which will now make it accessible to the remote vCenter environment. Switch back to SRM and see that it is proceeding with the operations. The test successfully finishes. Clean up the environment by clicking Clean Up. Verify the cleanup details and click Next. Verify the final summary screen and click Finish. The cleanup is in progress. After a few moments, the cleanup process finishes. You have successfully completed the five tasks of this video. Upload the SRA adapter to Site Recovery, add the array pairs in SRM, create protection groups in SRM, test your recovery plan, and run the cleanup. The result is that you have now used SRM to fail over data from one site to another.